Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Gano Python. In the previous session, we have covered that is reduce function. So in this tutorial, we will cover this accumulate function. How this accumulate function will work in lambda function and in other stuff as well. So we'll check with the example. So to run this accumulate function, we need to call. We need to import the package called. We will import the package called iter iter tools. Okay, this is the package name. From the iter tool, we will not import all this iter tool module. We will import accumulate from this iter tool. Okay, we will execute this one. See, the accumulate function and the reduce function both are almost same function. Okay, we will see what is the difference between accumulate and reduce function. So, first of all, we'll create one list. Okay, we'll use the accumulate function in the lambda function. We'll put two variable that is x and y. We'll add these two variable. Okay, we will pass the list over here. See what is going on in this. We have created one list. Okay, this is the accumulate. This is the function called accumulate. This is the lambda function. In reduce, we have to put the radius over here. Then we have to pass the list at list after this lambda function. After this lambda function, we have to pass the list. Okay, but in accumulate function, we have to pass the list that is a before this lambda function. This is the difference between lambda as this is the difference between accumulate and reduce function. We have to pass the list in accumulate function before this lambda function, but in reduce function, we have to pass the list after this lambda function. Okay, we will execute this one. We got this result. It is addition of this list. Okay, so we will see the output in reduce function first of all we need to import package for reduce from function tool import what that is reduce reduce okay we'll execute this one reduce Lambda will put two variable x and y. Will will add these two variable. Then we will pass this list. Okay, we got this result. What we got here that is 86. Means the last. It will add this whole list and we'll get the output. What is the output at last? Means what is the sum of the list we'll get here? But what is going on in this accumulate function? See, first 10, it will go x, 8, it will go y, 10 plus 8, that is 18, we are getting here. First, as it is 10, then 10 plus 8, that is 18, then 18 plus 5, that is 23, then 23 plus 23, likewise, this accumulate function is working over here, okay. So, this is the difference between the radius and accumulate function. But the output will get the same. That is 86 sum of this list and sum of this list 86. Same output we are getting in the both function that is accumulate and reduce. Okay. So this is the difference between this accumulate and reduce function that we have to pass. See the syntax of accumulate and see the syntax of reduce. Okay. We are passing the list uh, after the lambda function. We are passing the list before the lambda function. Okay. So We'll check, we'll see some more example with the accumulate function. For that, we will import one package called operator, same as we, we imported in the radius function. We'll execute this one. See, in this 
list we have passes here we have passed one list here same what we have passed in the map function if you want in the list format so we have we must have to pass list over here so accumulate we will use operator dot suppose we want to do the multiplication if you pass the list after this function you will get the error you will get the error so you have you must have to pass this a list in front of this operator dot multiplication so you will get the result if you pass the list before this function okay so this is the accumulate function we can do addition as well okay so this is the accumulate function hope this will make sense the difference between accumulate and reduce function thank you guys